Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to yet another TechWizKid24 video tutorial. Um, today, I'm going to be going over how to uh, get rid of a particularly nasty virus uh, that a lot of users are experiencing, where um, you would get redirects uh, when you Google something or when you use uh, any kind of search engine. Um, you know, when you go to res the results, uh, you click on a link, and it actually brings you to an entirely different website. Uh, than what that link was supposed to. Uh, what this actually is, uh, most of the time, is actually a really nasty rootkit that's usually not detected by regular virus scanners like uh, malware bytes or uh, super anti spyware, combo fix, rogue fix, uh, things like that. They won't even be able to capture uh, and detain a virus, or actually, to be more precise, a rootkit such as this. Um, and what I did was I actually found um, a, a tool, or depending on how bad the uh, rootkit actually is on your system, a tool or two uh, to use to kind of get rid of this. Uh, the first tool I'm going to recommend you use um, is called TDSS Killer, and that's by Kaspersky. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to link it right in the description so you don't have to Google that, um, obviously, because you wouldn't be able to uh, <laughs> see how you have that virus. Um, and then all you do is pretty much it's going to bring you to this website. Uh, you just kind of scroll down to the bottom there, and, and it's going to say how to disinfect a compromised system. You pretty much just download uh, the zip archive. I let that download all the way. I'm just going to go open it up in the folder, and I'm just going to extract it here. <clears throat> and pretty much what you're going to do if you're on Windows Vista, Windows 7, just uh, right-click that tdsskiller.exe uh, and just click Run as Administrator. Um, now, as you saw there, you just saw a little progress bar that had um, a percentage icon on it or a percentage bar on it. What that's doing is just checking for updates and things like that for the program. Uh, and I've seen in some cases where uh, sometimes that bar would freeze at around 80% if the rootkit was trying to prevent it from starting or the actual program wouldn't run at all. And I'm just going to show you a couple workarounds for that uh, once I get through how to actually run this program. Um, so other than that, once you get it booted up or the system or the program up, uh, it's pretty much ready to scan right from there. Uh, if there's any updates, it tells you to go download it, but you should have the latest version if you download right from that website. Um, so pretty much all you do is you do start scan. Um, it literally takes uh, at most a minute and a half, two minutes, um, not even. It's a really quick scan. It's really nice. It, it looks for uh, the major components in the system that could be infected, and it will go from there. And as you can see, I do have something, um, but this is what we got. I got last time as well. Um, it didn't really seem to have done anything uh, for me. Uh, well, I don't actually have that, you know, um, uh, Google redirect virus. Um, there might have just been a false positive or something like that. Um, but if you are having trouble running that program, there's a couple of different things you can try. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to have you go back to your downloads folder um, and just make sure your um, that you can actually see. Um, the extensions for your files. If you just see TDSS killer, you can't do this. So what I'm gonna have you do is just go to Tools, um, Folder Options, I believe. Um, let's see. Yep. Uh, and just go to the Folder Options there, uh, and check off or uncheck that Hide Extensions for Known File Types, uh, just so we can see that TDSS killer.exe. And this is generally a good thing to have anyway, just so you know. Um, if you're downloading or pirating some music or something like that, so it's not like Rihanna's latest single .mp3.exe, you'll actually see that it is an exe, so you're not going to get many viruses, hopefully. Uh, and yes, be careful with pirated software, and don't do that, that's bad. Uh, so pretty much what I'm going to have you do is you just right-click it, um, or you can actually just click Rename um, as well, or the keyboard shortcut F2. Uh, just rename it, just uh, whatever you'd like, just something different. Uh, 123 or whatever you'd like, .com, so .com. Uh, it's going to give you a little bit of a warning. You can click Yes. Um, we are sure we want to change it. And as you can see here, it's called 123.com, but the program does still load. Now, what this should do in a lot of cases is actually fool the rootkit into uh, thinking that that's not a threat to it um, because it will be looking for sometimes specific strings um, like TSS killer might have that in you know a bank somewhere to say to block this program if you name it 123.com uh, you're not going to run into that issue now you might be able to run it from there um, so again just right click it or just double click it uh, and, and run it and hopefully it finds something it's going to ask you to reboot your computer you just go ahead and do that now if you are running into uh, say that it doesn't run at all because I've seen some systems where uh, you double click it no matter what you re you re click run as administrator you run in safe mode no matter what it's not opening up uh, the thing I'd recommend doing from there um, is actually a separate tool uh, not from Kaspersky from or not from 
yeah, Kaspersky from Symantec, uh, and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's just a specific tool for um, removing this TDSS um, rootkit. Uh, so pretty much what you do is I'm going to actually give you a link uh, right to here, right to this page right here, and you pretty much um, remove the infection of backdoor.tidserve, uh, and you pretty much scroll down, it says number one, download the fixed tdss.exe file from right there. You go ahead and let that download again, go to your downloads folder, uh, and it's going to be called fixed tdss.exe. Uh, again, you want to right-click that, run as administrator, uh, if you're on Vista or Windows 7, if you're on XP, that should be fine the way it is. Uh, and this is pretty much the same situation. You're just going to let that go. Uh, you're going to do a full scan of the system. What it's actually going to do, uh, it's going to do a preliminary scan, and then it's going to actually restart your computer, uh, and the tool will run when your computer reboots. Now, there has some, there's been some cases where after I run this tool, I reboot the computer, you'll see a little command prompt window, and it might give you a little bit of a warning that you know the file wasn't found. Um, what I found from there is if that didn't completely remove it, you can usually just close that error box. Just go back and try to run that Kaspersky TDSS killer, um, and that should do the rest of the cleanup for that. Um, and if you're still having troubles from there, I mean, that, that it's going to be a pretty nasty virus. I mean, you have a few different options. Um, if you'd like, you can, you can message me here on YouTube or leave a comment. I'll get back to you on that. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the times... If it's a really nasty rootkit like that, I recommend kind of making a backup of your data uh, and just kind of doing a full wipe of the system, reload the operating system, everything like that. You know, that's usually not the case with viruses. You can usually can get them out pretty easily. But something like that, that's a definitely what I would recommend doing. Uh, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any ideas for any of my future videos, feel free to leave a comment here, uh, send me a message. Um, make sure you like this video for me, uh, that way I can know, you know, if I, if you know these videos are good for you. Other than that, like I said, you have a great night.